Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, but we're gonna talk about AI art and uh, some outrage, apparently, apparently some AI generated artwork won an art contest. First place at a state fair. So we're gonna talk about this for those of you who don't know, uh, there has been discussion about AI generated art. You basically, as I understand it, punch in some keywords, punch in some parameters, and the computer generates images. And uh, yes, one of these uh, paintings won first place at the Colorado State Fair. Artists are outraged. We're gonna talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. Over 275,000, almost 276,000 subs. And speaking of support, speaking of art, check out Crimson Wren Volume 1 from Clownfish Studios, I swear. It actually is drawn by Jose Garcia. Uh, it is not bot generated. Uh, it is written by Geeky and myself. And this is some beautiful, beautiful stuff. And and uh, hopefully, hopefully we're not going to uh, replace all of our artists we've hired here at Clownfish Studios with, with robots. I don't think they want to be replaced with robots. I don't want to be replaced with a bot. But um, yeah, so let's, let's talk about this because there has been a lot of uh, discussion about AI art. And um, we haven't really talked about it much on the channel. Mostly I thought it was used for NFTs and that sort of thing. And I thought it was kind of a fad, but apparently people are making money at it. People are winning, winning awards for it. And uh, people are creating entire comic books via AI. And it seems crude and rudimentary right now. And it definitely leaves a lot to be desired but there probably will come a day when uh, you can just punch in a script or parameters or whatever and the computer will pretty much guess what you're looking for and make something that approximates or approximates what you're looking for and uh, that might might be the end of of some mid-tier artists i think there's always going to be a space for really unique artists you know uh, i don't think ai can do that yet but just the grunt work just storyboards or that kind of thing it might be computerized, just like we've replaced, you know, uh, cashiers in a lot of stores, and that's that's kind of scary. It really is. I don't think I'd like to say that I don't think uh, the AI is ever going to be as good as a human, but who knows, uh, right? Let's talk about this. Um, this is an AI-generated piece of art, winning first place at the State Fair in Colorado, and raging artists. Uh, a man who won a fine art competition using an image he created with an art artificially intelligent AI text-to-image generator has shown no remorse about his triumph despite criticism. According to Vice, Jason Allen posted a photo of his image hanging on a wall with the first place ribbon next to it that he received from the Colorado State Fair fine art competition. Posting under the alias... Sincarnate on Discord, Alan said he had an exciting announcement about his personal project he made on AI image generator Midjourney. I've been exploring a special prompt that I will be publishing at a later date. I have created hundreds of images using it, and after many weeks of fine tuning and curating my generations, I chose my top three and had them printed on canvas. After upscaling with Gigapixel AI, I entered into the Colorado State Fair Fine Arts Competition digital arts category, and I won first place. Allen states clearly he wanted to use Midjourney in a competitive matter and said, I could not be more excited about having one with my favorite piece. Uh, his work is a stunning piece of atmospheric art. Looks like a high court from another world. Uh, Midjourney is known for its darker, moodier images it generates rather than the cleaner style. Um, here. So despite Alan's delight in winning the contest, com commentators online have been quick to call his actions out. Uh, too long didn't read. Someone entered an art competition with an AI generated piece and won the first prize. Yeah, that's pretty effing shitty. Uh, <laughs> we're watching the death of artistry unfold right before our very eyes. If creative jobs aren't safe for machines, then even high skilled jobs are in danger of becoming obsolete. Allen acknowledged the controversy, admitting he knew it would not go down well, but far from apologizing, he doubled down. How interesting is it to see how all these people on Twitter who are against AI-generated art are the first ones to throw the human under the bus by discrediting the human element? Does this seem hypocritical to you guys? 
Uh, Alan says that critics are judging the art by the method of its creation and that eventually AI created art will be accepted. Hey, I heard the same, look, devil's advocate here. I heard the same thing about digital art for years. It's not real art. You have unlimited undos, you know, it's only real art if you're painting on canvas, if you're drawing with ink on paper, you know, it takes a lot more skill, which to a degree is true. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It is much harder to draw on paper in many cases because it's way harder to make corrections, especially on comic book pages where you're dealing with India ink that cuts into the paper and just trying to fix that. A lot of times you wind up having to redraw the whole panel and then kind of pasting it over the mistake, you know, white out is, is terrible. So yeah, I, I get that. I get that, but it is accepted as the norm now, right? Digital art is. So what if we looked at this from the other extreme? What if the artist made a wildly difficult and complicated series of restraints in order to create a piece? They made their art while hanging upside down and being whipped while painting. Should this artist's work be evaluated differently than another artist that created the same piece normally? I know what will become of this in the end, they're simply going to create an artificial intelligence art category, I imagine, for something like this. Uh, his win and subsequent controversy has only emboldened him. I'm not stopping now. I'm not stopping. You can bitch and moan on Twitter all you want, but here's here's the thing. Sometimes uh, you get some beautiful results like this, and sometimes you get you get Barney as an eldritch horror. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so it's like it's very hit or miss at this point. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of debate about it. Uh, somebody actually created an entire comic book, um, and it looks like something like Bill Sienkiewicz would have done or you would have seen in Heavy Metal Magazine back in the day. And this is called The, uh, the Terrible Misfortunes of an Intergalactic Traveler by Jordan Booker, a full narrative digital comic featuring illustrations created entirely with Midjourney. Again, this is Midjourney. Uh, Booker wrote the dialogue and put in some serious time editing and playing with prompts. But the visuals in the comic were generated entirely by the software. Now, that's the thing. There is a human element. You do have to tell the machine what to do, and it learns accordingly. But look how far we've come just with Photoshop in the last couple of decades. Where is this software or something like it going to be in 20 or 30 years? We have AI already trying to write movie scripts badly for now, for now, and AI creating art hit or miss again for now, but in a couple of decades, because this this whole concept was uh, inconceivable, you know, just a few decades ago, but in a couple of decades, we might have machines just generating entertainment for us, you know, or for themselves, and they just get rid of us because we're in the way. Who, kn who knows? But look at this. This is the, the comic. This is coming from Cartoon Brew, by the way. And it looks like it was actually professionally done. You know, it looks like something you would have seen in Heavy Metal Magazine back in the day and you know it's actually kind of cool i mean the visuals are very cool um it definitely has that kind of old school sci-fi feel to it but um you know it's only going to get better and better and better uh from here so i guess you know we're just gonna have to learn to live with the machine uh, I don't know if the machines are going to want to live with us, but uh, there we go, guys. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later.